If there was ever a time for the White House to take out their executive strength crazy glue, now is the time. The Trump inner circle is breaking apart before our very eyes. Jared Kushner is, uh, has lost his top secret security clearance. Hope Hicks, White House communications director, has resigned. And uh, just uh, a day after she admitted to telling little white lies on behalf of the president to the House Intelligence Committee. Why is she leaving now? Is a pardon uh, being prepared for her as a loyal staff member? And if so, would that uh, put the president in more legal jeopardy? Good questions, right? Yesterday, the president bullied and berated his own Attorney General Jeff Sessions once again, this time about uh, the Department of Justice Inspector General's investigation into improper use of FISA warrants. We all know the President is unhappy with uh, Attorney General Sessions because he's not protecting him from Special Counsel Robert Mueller, who seems to be getting closer and closer to whatever secrets the President uh, may be trying to hide. It seems that Attorney General uh, Sessions is standing his ground, however, and he's doing his very best to protect the Department of Justice by ending the political battles over the FISA warrants, by handing the entire investigation over to the Inspector General once and for all. Mueller is clearly onto something real here. And Donald Trump, his family, and uh, the team are feeling the heat. Mueller team uh, are now asking the witnesses, what did the president know and when did he know it? Did Trump know all about the stolen emails before everyone else did? When he said, Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find Hillary's 30,000 missing emails. If so, this would explain uh, President, why President Trump is trying so hard to get Jeff Sessions to resign. He wants a new AG who will do his bidding and fire Robert Murdo. However, Sessions is uh, not willing to go gently into that good night. And if our unorthodox uh, Teflon president is considering pardoning himself, or he's on that route to pardon himself or others, someone needs to teach him a history lesson. When Gerald Ford pardoned Richard Nixon, he was not doing so to protect himself from uh, criminal prosecution. He was clean. He was doing so to save our nation from a trial of its president for obstruction of justice. This is John Christopher Buer for Real Political News, Washington.